Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. It was always the sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. God rest her soul. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were oh, you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I could take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, you're standing behind me. Just what a mess. Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Addy finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. Rippers, why you wanted me to see that shit? 
No, Dick. I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Herring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. Thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. The good folks of Sherman Camp did will stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Ripper because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Dee. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you, My truce will hold. You can bet on that. Ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Yep. I wonder how Boozer's holding up. I guess I should uh, go check on him. Hope he's awake. Going, brother. No, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. <laughs> yes, ma'am. He can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc. Doc, seriously though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny. William, lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I got to go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Captain Corey! Get Captain Corey! J just radio him, damn it! The outpost is under attack! Corporal, we gotta move out! Gotta move out! Corporal, there's more coming. Corporal! Militia? What the hell? Oh, 
Brian. I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, 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 St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. That's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kinda hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I get it. I need the area secured now. And this time, I need you to plant Standing those trackers on their helo. Their chopper. Okay, Sound I gotta up. place a tracker on that chopper. Clear. Clear over here. Guys, just clear. gotta clean around. clear. I can't let them see me. Clear, Doc. So what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? Think you would stop and fill up at the old Peltrow gas turn station. In case you didn't see it, sign says gas low. But nah, I'm guessing you guys don't got that problem, do you? Okay. Well, that Brian, the tracker's set. You should be getting... Yeah. Here he is. We've now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, uh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You, you finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just asking. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again. Some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses. That must be nice. And flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus, I'm Brian. Don't. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. O'Brien? Oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. Oh, uh, hey. Me again. So, uh, I took Boozer into the Lost Lake camp, and I know, <laughs> I know, I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but didn't have a choice. See, Boozer, Boozer was gonna die, and, uh, well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but, like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um, he lost the arm anyway, and... And now he's stuck. I mean, we're stuck. Goddamn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging 
in Sacramento and Fresno. I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California to Oregon, and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team peddling sodas at a mini mart. Or, no, 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 man. He would have <laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm, making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, making more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game the boozer and I used to play before we rode out of Lost Lake for good. We used to call it uh, Who You Were. You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the shit went down, you know. You know, I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. So, that makes sense if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the shit went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit, so I don't know, maybe it's because I was telling the truth. I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but that, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening ever. Uh, hey, <laughs> look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you.